Guys, how are you not doing now? Welcome back. This is my boy, Gay Adam Slink. I hope you're not doing okay. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. So let's talk about the updates on the VDM and Bob Risky. So there's an update. And first, we're going to look at activist Asha Yusufu. Uh, so this activist, uh, what she said about uh, Barry Darkman. You know, Asha Yusufu is one of all those people that we respect a lot. We respect Asha Yusufu a lot because of what she stands for and uh, how she proudly supported Peter Obi and uh, how she proudly stands uh, stand during the answers period. You know, Asha, Asha Yusufu get our goodwill for heart. You understand? We love her so much and then what she represents. You know, activists, for those of you who are getting it wrong, eh, activists eh, cannot, it's not important, say, all activists go do the same thing. Please, I want you guys to understand. It's not important that all activists eh, go do the same thing. According to a very dark man, uh, way of activism, He's doing it for you know, going after social media uh, celebrities and so many other persons, which we are actually really, really okay with. Asha Yusufu, they more of a politics and uh, deeply rooted things, hmm? which we are still very much okay with. Which we are still very much okay with. So according to what she wrote, you know, last few last week she responded to very dark mark concerning this uh, uh, Falana issue. And according to what she wrote last week, what she wrote last week, she said, in the last few days, I have been aghast at the thinking of so many. Many think they hone you when you speak against injustice or stand for someone. If the Falana let this go unchallenged, the same people will say that they are guilty of what they are accused of. Now they are taking it up, they say is oppression. The same people did say they should clear their names, and that is and that is exactly what they are doing. For those who feel that the focus should be on the corruption and not Falana taking on defamation case, have you ever heard of multi-taxing? What can be done? If the guy in the video has evidence to the accusation, then he, he goes to court, otherwise tender the apology and let everyone move on. Because many do not care about their reputation. They feel others shouldn't. You want to tarnish a family hard and name, and you think they should let it go? What nonsense is that? The corruption case can go hand in hand. That is coming from Asha Yusufu. Then, as at yesterday, she wrote another stuff. She said, I have just seen an accusation that all I am interested in is bringing VDM down. Then the laugh emoji. As in, because I want to do his work or I want to be helping people. He say, why you not the fee say he want to bring VDM down? As in, say, she want to do VDM work or maybe she want to help people. Why do you guys feel like Asha Yusufu is bringing VDM down? When Asha, Asha Yusufu, her own activism, is not to help people. According to her, she said, I have said here severally, I do not want to help people. I just want people to not need my help. And anyone that takes on whatever actually helped me to be lazy self. Exactly. I think that's the best form of assistance. Assisting people so that those people will not need your help in the future. That's the best form of uh, activism. 
It's the same thing as teach me how to fish. Do not give me fish to chop. It's the same thing. That's the best form of assistance you can render anybody. Teach that person how to fish. And that's exactly what Nigeria needs. We are so deeply rooted depending on somebody to come and help us, help us, help us, help us, help us, and yet we do not want to help ourselves. The best form of activism is somebody fighting for you so that you can help yourself, not needing me to help you. That's, that is what uh, Asha Yusufu means. Then she also said, anyway, whether anyone is fighting for anyone or not, he doesn't give anyone the right to tarnish anyone's hard-earned reputation. Also, that someone has a name is not a reason for them to not fight those who are trying to tarnish their reputation. That be, that be the bigger person nonsense has to stop. See, hmm? let's be honest there. Eh? Falana, eh? Falana family, hmm? fighting, asking, eh? Falana family dragging VDM to court, asking him to apologize. They are absolutely correct. Very dark man also is correct by releasing that tape and also bashing Bob Risky. Everything can go hand in hand. I build up a reputation. I feel like somebody is trying to tarnish that reputation. It is my right. It is my obligation. It is me to meet that person and say, no, you are defaming me. It is my right. You know, because of what, what is happening in Nigeria, because of the sensitivity of the things that are happening in Nigeria, corruption has deeply eaten us to the point that we don't even know who writes again. Eh? We don't even want to hear nothing again. I understand. Me too, I don't want to hear anything because everybody in Nigeria to me is absolutely corrupt. Even the most honest people in this world, when they come to, Ni when they come to Nigeria, they will automatically get corrupt. That is how every Nigeria thinks. Even if one politician is doing one right thing and in Nigeria applaud that politician, automatically that person automatically becomes the enemy. But Brisky is the case here. But then again, you should reason that then again, Falana do not want uh, VDM to tarnish their image. And VDM do not want to apologize. Because VDM is gaining a lot. Let us be honest. Popularity, VDM, they gain them. Uh, more money, VDM, they gain them. Yeah, so VDM is making more money. For those of you who do not know, VDM is making more money. I'm not saying what he's doing is not right, oh, but the popularity, you know, the flex now, the popularity and the exposure. Because social media, the more people know you, the more money you make. If you check his uh, YouTube page, all his videos are blowing up. If you check a Twitter video he make, you see all the gifts coming in. So the guy is seriously cashing out. But then again, he's using his own cash to help people according to you guys, which I actually support. I am still very fully behind Very Dark Man when it comes to him getting, uh, uh, making sure Bob Risky serves his uh, his or her time, which I fully stand for, which I fully stand for, honestly, which I fully stand for. Well, we just heard that Bob Risky has withdrawn, I don't know if, he, if she has withdrawn the case, because she posted a lawsuit, a defamatory lawsuit against a very dark man, asking for one billion naira in damage and apology. Very Dark Man has since read that particular uh, message and Bobriski immediately deleted it. As of today, now this morning, when Very Dark Man has already read the message. So Nigerians thought Bobriski was chicken out. Like, 
but Obruski they fear. Say he won't run come out the case after a so very dark man. But this was what Bobrisky wrote earlier today. According to she, he or she said, the monkey, uh -uh, you call very dark man monkey. That is harsh, oh, Bobrisky. Be careful. The monkey said, I am scared of him. <laughs> well, everybody can go low because there is no respect. Everybody can decide to go low at this point. You understand? So it's excusable if Bob Rizky called very dark by a monkey. Everybody can go low because there is no more. Everybody can go low at this point. Everybody can go low. So it's excusable if very dark man call a... Uh, Call uh, if Bob Risky called very dark man a monkey. So she, she said, The monkey said, I'm scared of him. That was why I deleted the letter as heavy. What is the purpose of leaving it on my page when it already when it's already all over blogs? Let me repost it if you think I'm scared of you. I don't know who they give Bob Risky mind, though, but, 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 but Bob Risky, eh, over the past few days, eh, has gathered all the momentum. You understand? He has gathered all the mind to fight back. So, what do you call they give Bob Risky? You no? Know, zeal. Zeal to fight back. What is not giving her the zeal to fight back? Because before, I, I think about. Past few days now, a few days ago, Bob Risky they cry, say, I won't buy myself, I won't buy myself, I won't buy myself. But now, you know, I buy myself again. You want to fight back. I like this kind of fight. Do not allow anybody to intimidate you. You know, don't allow anybody to intimidate you. If you feel intimidated, go to court. Thank God we are still talking about court. Let's be honest. Thank God in this present situation, we still rely on court. We are not like the South Africans. If you talk anyhow, you see what you put to AKA, you collect bullet for back. So thank God, whatever all the jagba jagba, all the rugged talk, maybe they talk, all the crazy acts we are acting. At the end of the day, we go wrong, go cut. It's still really, really good. That is what a really sane country, democracy, should be. And I tell you, this is the best time to read law. Because the next generation coming in, hey, we, the next generation coming in, they will get it to each other nerves. And there will, there will be a lot of lawsuits. So this is the best time now to tell your children to read law. Because we are seeing that the lawyer institution will boom in the next 20 years. Because you can see the trend. Everybody just wants to go to court. Everybody just wants to boom, lawsuit. Boom, lawsuit. Boom, lawsuit. <laughs> well, that's the update. That is the part update. So I still have uh, other uh, updates on, uh, uh, for you guys. We're going to talk about the setup. The apparently setup. And also, uh, very dark man making money from this old saga. You know, we're still going to uh, talk about those two stuff.